Hello, welcome to Strong Family Farm Take Two. Today in the chapel, we have Proverbs 3.27. Do not withhold good from those who deserve it when it is within your power to act. So, just trying to do the right thing, lift others up. Yeah, it's been a really bad week at work. And last night I came home and my box had arrived and I just, yeah. I played in the sewing room, so which the office has now become the sewing room. <laughs> I have both machines right here. I have, yeah. So one of the things that I did, let me move this. Yes, we have a box to go over. One of the things that I did was I straightened out my sewing box. Um, I organized it, you know, put everything where I needed it. Um, when I got the new uh, box in, I did downsize my pins. I had tubs and tubs of pins that were for from my grandmother, and and all, and everybody had a, a box of like a hundred pins. I literally put them in a Tupperware bowl, and I'm giving them to my daughter because I will never use that many pins. First off, and second off, I got something else that's going to replace them. So I set, took time and organized this. I don't know if you can see in here, but I uh, did that and took out all, oh, got my hair in it, my hair, uh, took out all of the stuff that was um, for my sewing machine, okay? And when I say all the stuff was for my sewing machine, I mean... I made its own little tote, and I'm going to have to go and find another one of these. This is repurposed, but it, and I simply wrote with marker on it, Brother VX 1010 Sewing Machine, because that's my old sewing machine, and that's one that I'm keeping. Inside, I put all the different feet I have, um, my walking foot, my buttonhole maker, my zipper foot, needles, the light bulb for it, all the extra bobbins that I have. Um... And I uh, just marked it this way. And I'm going to do one for the serger because I have like three feet. Um, I have, I don't have bobbins, but I'll have um, three feet. I'll have different needles and I will have a uh, different light bulb or whatever. That's a uh, L D whatever you, anyway, you know what I mean? So I did that. Um, that was the first day I was just stressed. People at work have been uh, very mean. Like yesterday, one of the young ladies went into another office and cried because of the way people were treating her. People are just being nasty. Um, I had a gentleman on the phone, wasn't even a client of ours, who wanted to ask some questions. All of our bankers were busy. I asked him, can I get somebody to call you back so that you can get those answers? He got irate, told me that was poor customer service, started screaming and yelling so loud that I have a little headphone and mic. And there was a client in front of my desk and she and another coworker that was picking up a package from another department, um, both could hear him screaming and yelling at me. So, yeah. And he was just mad because there was nobody to answer his question right that second. Um, we had one have to be escorted out yesterday because he was screaming, yelling, cussing, swearing. Um, then when we went to leave the parking lot, there was two people in the parking lot screaming and yelling at each other. They were speaking Mexican, so I don't know what they were saying, but we had to call security on them. Yeah, and this is a bank. <laughs> I'm just like, what? So I don't know. I know that everybody believes in, in different stuff, but I don't know if the constellations are not lining up or the Mars is in something. How, somebody told me something. I was like, I don't know if that's true. I don't know, but everybody just seems to be very ugly. Um, not everyone, but a lot of people. And it's being focused at different people. I, I don't know. I had people call me that... Um, we're verifying their social security checks were there because they don't know what's going on with the government. So 
think everybody is just, and I don't know why. I really don't. But my relaxation is the sewing. So I organized, um, and, and like I said, this has been ongoing since the week. So I recorded, I want to say Monday because I was so excited. And then, or maybe it was Sunday. Anyway, so Monday I came home and I organized everything. Um, my box hadn't arrived yet. And so, uh, then I cut out some more patterns and all that kind of stuff and just kind of tinkered made, and I don't have them here, but the whole start of this was roommate wanted to upgrade a boat. Well, it came with electronics. It didn't have covers on them. So I used a serger and made really thick. I, I did find the limits of the serger, and I say that jokingly because it's on me. Uh, so I made padded or quilted denim recycle upcycled jean covers with an elastic pull tie to put over it because they stay on the boat. And when you drive down the road, you don't want to pick up a rock and it hit them. And they normally have like plastic covers that come over them. Well, he's having trouble finding the plastic covers. And I said, I can make something, you know, and at least this way, it's really thick and padded and it's protected. So I played and made those. Now by limitations of surgery, I mean, I cut a piece of jean and the length I wanted it and it had the double seam and it had it on the front and the back. You can't go over the double seam. You can do two pieces of denim with two pieces of backing and two pieces of batting. Uh, really easy. It went through that really easy. But when it was doubled over twice, that's when then I actually broke a needle. So yeah, you can't do the, the double seams because they came together like right at the same point. So yeah, it was super thick and I thought, eh, I'll try it. Yeah, no, it didn't happen. So, there's the limit. Anyway, so I made those and I kind of played and I was waiting on my accessories to come. And when I say accessories is basically I shopped for the serger and I needed thread. You know, I went to Hobby Lobby and I bought their only spools of thread for $5 a spool, which is $20, which is expensive. But, um, I stumbled upon something. No one told me about it or anything like that. And this is going to be my new favorite go-to place for all my sewing stuff, except for fabric. Okay, just saying, they don't have fabric in here. But man, I wish they did. That, and if you sew, you probably have heard of this place. Well, whack. I don't know how to say it. But, yeah. I, I got their spring catalog in the order. And I was like, ooh. Um, and it's a pretty thick little catalog. It, it's nice. And they have, I'll just give you, uh, let's see here. This is biased. Okay, they have all these, all these colors. Um, let's see here. And they have three, four, four pages of them. Different styles and different kinds. Different uh, hem facings, uh, different widths, bias tape, seam binding, uh Specialty binding, they've got lace, uh, plexi lace binding, they've got, oh my goodness, you name it, they have it. Um, they have uh, stuff to make bras, they have buttons and accessories, and and when I say buttons, I mean pages of buttons. This looks like... Um, this is almost like Mary Maxson with their yarns. You know, you find one page and it's like, woohoo. I mean, this is the rotary. Okay. So all of these are like rotary type cutters and all of that. Um, just for accessories, tools, you know. So this is my new go-to. I found them online. And what drew me to them is they actually had the thread I needed. And so, as you can tell, my box came in. I got two yards, all right, each, 
two yards was just seven dollars and eighty eight cents. Okay, now I got the flexible because it is the Profuse flexible woven interfacing. I think this will work best for bags, and I don't want the interfacing because it's vinyl. I don't want stiff, stiff. I want the bags to be, you know, loose and comfortable to carry. I don't like something stiff on my on my hip, so um, I got this, and it's just for bag. And who knows, four yards. I probably will not use this all up like in a day or anything. So this is probably going to last me. Um, I got four yards too because. If you go over, I can't remember how much, they do free shipping and handling. So this was just, this was 16 bucks, and I couldn't get it for that at Hobby Lobby. Okay, that price, that good. So I did pick up four yards of that. Each package is two yards. So I'm happy with that. Uh, then, let's see. What else did I get at? Okay, so I got two of these, one for my daughter and one for me. Um, didn't even know that this thing existed. And maybe that's because I'm old school. And, and I get that. Um, so I've been using to do all of my elastic and line it in there and stuff. I put a, a big safety pin and I actually have two in my sewing box. And I know exactly where they're at at all times. I have two safety pins and this this is my threader okay just saying I have done it that way and I have two because um when I was teaching 4-H or whatever if I was teaching somebody I always needed another one so that we could do it together or my daughter okay so I always have two of these huge safety pins and that's how I threaded it but I actually make a drawstring threader so, yeah, I got just a one, I got a 23 inch because if I can do it with safety pin, I surely can do, you know, more than 23 inches with this. So I got one for my daughter and one for me. Um, drawstrings are the easiest kind of bags to make, the easiest stuff, and you just re-thread them and go on. So I got that. Then, that bag. It came in this lovely box. <laughs> All right. So the other stuff that I found, and this is where it's going to, you're, you're going to see the difference and see why I ordered from there, especially with uh, free shipping and handling. So if you're doing this, so each one of these spools was $2.51. Please keep in mind that at Hobby Lobby, it's $4.99. I got, and this is Magic Lock. This isn't, you know, uh, Magic Lock is known for great thread. So, and of course, I this is an all-purpose serger thread. I didn't get a specialty thread to do the bags. Um, but I got six white, six black. Then, because of everything that I've read online, they said for color, you know, if you want to make different designs, you can just change. You can have it's a light color. You can do it, and you can do it with either black or white but have a neutral on one and then just have the color on your needle. Okay. Left needle, right needle, whichever, if it's three. So, so each one of these is 3000 yards. Okay. So that's a plus right there because a regular spool of thread costs more than this and it has less on it. So if you go to, Hobby Lobby, Walmart, any of the Joann's. Um, I think I priced them all. The regular thread is like $2.99 for an all-purpose thread. And it's 300 yards. This is 3,000 yards for less. Um, so, yeah, I'm really liking that. <laughs> I really, really do. Okay. So, I got navy blue, royal purple, uh, dark pink, and light yellow. I, I have no idea. Artillery red. Don't ask me how red and artillery go together. I don't know if artillery means a different thing. Anyway, emerald green, and then I got a brown. Yeah. 
So I got 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 spools of yarn. Of yarn. You can count it. 20 spools of thread. Oh, wait, there's some more stuff in here. So, yeah. And each one of these, two dollars and fifty-one cents. I'm just saying. So, the other stuff that I got in my box, um, because I'm going to the plan is to do bags and do some other stuff. They sell zippers by the yard. So I got brown, black, and an antique white, just because I don't like stark white. And then I got the zipper poles. Each package of zipper pole has ten in it. Okay, so I got those. Now, when I say it's by the yard, and then I got the zipper pulls. Woo! Sorry about that. It passed the thread here. All right. Just so you know, and this is just the way they did it. Six those six spools of white cost me fifteen dollars and six cents, and so did the six spools of black, and it was four ninety nine per spool. At Hobby Lobby, and I only got four, and I paid twenty dollars. Yeah, so it is what it is. Um, I'm looking here. Uh, so the continuous zipper, I got. I can't remember how much I got. Three yards. So for three yards, I paid. $3.95. And y'all know that I just bought some cute little zippers for, you know, $2.99. This is three yards, so I got three yards each. And that's just the zipper part, okay? That, that's just the actual sew-in zipper part for $3.95. You can make as many as you need. Um, then... The zipper pulls, hang on just a second. There's too many pages. Too many pages. Okay. Let's see here. Continuous, continuous. Okay, here they are. The sliders and that. Um. There we go. Oh, that's the D-rings. Oh my goodness. I can't even find them on here. But anyway, I got one package of zipper poles. The zipper poles are not very expensive. Um, Sergeant thread, Sergeant thread. This is, there's three pages of invoice here. And each spool of thread was done individually, um, except for the, um, uh, black and white so it's like oh my goodness right there, there. okay here they are so for 10 zipper pulls like two dollars and 90 cents and i got of course one color i got a brown i got a black and i got a white and i did get antique white it's not a true white um and so there's 10 in this pack for two dollars and 90 cents uh that's amazing because now I can make the zippers as long or as short as I want. I got different um, lengths. I got two different sizes. I got a smaller size and a larger size of everything I'm about to tell you about. So I got the slide buckles right here. And they were like, let's see here. The slider buckles, the half inch was $3.69 for 10. And the smaller ones, oh, I'm sorry, it's $3.79 for the large ones and $3.69 for the smaller ones. I stacked the antique brass. They have tons of colors, uh, nickel plated, that kind of stuff. I got those. I got small D-rings, big D-rings. And when I say small, it's like half inch and three quarter inch because that's what I tend to use. Then I picked up these heavy beauty swivels. Um, I got the three quarter inch just because I thought the half inch was going to be too small, but I might go back and on my next order, order some half inch swivels just because, um, 
and those swivels were the most expensive thing I bought because they're heavy duty. The, I wish you could feel, you know, these are actually heavy duty. I can use them on the edges to make the uh, strap removable. I can put it for the keys, whatever. But still, I only gave five dollars and seventy-five cents for ten. Yeah. So I got all this lovely stuff, and all of this is for the bag making. Okay. Um. And I am really happy with their prices. And here in a minute, I'm going to show you another reason, but I have to find the, there it is. Okay. Um, really, really affordable. Okay. Especially since I'm going to be making bags and I will be using all of that stuff. Um, I do want to get an organizer for the serger feet and that, and I want to get an organizer for the, I'm going to, they, they make them. I have one of the old peg board for the small threads and I have a, a, a little piece, a little organizer thing in my sewing box. I never use. Yeah. So I'm going to give my daughter the extra threads that I don't use on the sewing machine. I, I've gotten, some of them are old, some of them break too easy. Some of them I just didn't like. Um, it is what it is. I'm just, they're gone. Um, I have in the thread that's in my sewing box, I normally stick to black, white, red, green, like you saw in the serger, but I don't do like yellow and green and all of that. Um, I only tend to do red at Christmas and green. I don't really use a lot of, I, I don't know why. So red is something that I do stitch decoratively, but I use black, white, the invisible sometimes and have used some browns, not really on navy or anything like that because I use blacks so um, and reds. And that's what I left in my box, just what I actually use. Um, when I was sewing her clothes, my daughter's clothes, when she was little, I used to match the thread and everything. Now I'm like, nope, I'm pretty good and it always looks nice, so I'm not worried about matching the thread to the color of the outfit. Um, I try to turn the thread stitching into some kind of accent. And if I don't want an accent, I just use invisible thread and let it go with that. So I'm going to do that. And I want to get an organizer for all those spools that you saw of the thread. They make boxes of them. Um, but some of the other things that they carry, and I know that some people are going to just go, are you kidding me? <laughs> yeah, I am. So they have some different things and they have their own brand. Um, if you buy their brand, it's a little bit cheaper. Okay. So I got, um, my chalk was getting really little and I didn't ever have this little case thing. This is cool. So I got my marking chalk and I picked up two of them. Now you can get these by the dozen. Okay. I didn't feel that I needed them by the dozens. I may change my mind later and get a dozen, but I got each of these and I got the holder to come with them and they were $2 and 16 cents a piece. So not bad considering the fact that you get the holder and then you can buy tons of refills. It was cheap on the refills. Um, you can get 24 to 48 of those chalks, but the holders have a little sharpener in there so that if it gets dull, you just run it across here and it'll put it back to that nice V point. So I have two of these um, just because I tend to lose them, not to give to my father, just because just I tend to lose them um, when I'm sewing. And I'll find them, you know, one on this table, one on the ironing board, one I'll lay it down by the sewing machine, wherever. The other thing that I did and this was another one of those expensive things. They weren't really. $6 and 85 cents. And I know that a lot of people tell me wonder clips. I got their brand. I got a hundred of the stones. Now they have different sizes. Okay. But these are the regular little wonder clips. Uh, they're not wonder clips. They're sewing clips. We're just going to say sewing clips. And they have them in all these lovely colors and there's a hundred of them in here. Yeah, I have half a tin left and I have a whole thing done. 
over there that I've used them for. So, yeah, and it comes in this lovely metal tin. I didn't have to find something to put them in. So, I was super happy with that. Um, but, yeah, I am keeping all of this and tracking it and figuring out what the bags actually cost. And I, I think they call it a side hustle. I, I'm really kind of thinking that selling bags and doing some sewing is going to be my side hustle because I enjoy it. Um, crochet has always been my go-to. I'm still going to continue to do that. But unfortunately, everybody expects me to do crochet for free. I don't know why, but they'll ask me for something. And, you know, a little headband, whatever. And then I don't get paid. So sewing, for some reason, I'm not associated with it as a hobby. Everybody offers to pay. I'm like, uh, yeah. So maybe this will make me a better business person. <laughs> and but I am putting prices on them. So I did take some time. I cut out two that I had done. And the Wonder Clips I got are... The sewing clip that I got was because I was working with vinyl. You don't want to put pins in vinyl. So there is one handle on that bag. This is the other handle on that bag. I have one half sewn. I literally have half the bag done. Um, and this is going to be the bag that looks like this. Okay. And it'll have handles like this. I've been doing just a little bit you know, each night. Um, these are smaller, and until I make sure that the patterns are what I want, I'm not going to make huge ones. The other one that I made, and this one's done. Okay, it's not done. I don't have the closure on it yet. I've got the flaps for the closure, but I don't have the closure. Um, I'm actually, I think it's just a camp snap because it'll be on the inside and it won't be seen anyway. So, yeah. I made this one, and it wide all across there. It's definitely vinyl, but it does have that leather look. So, um, I like it. Um, I am going to adjust the length of the handle, I think. It comes right here. And that's fine. I just think that it should be just a little lower, but... It is what it is. It's made and it is for sale for $15, but it is not done yet. So, um, I will be selling on my Facebook page to start with. Um, and I may be adding it to the, uh, blog page. I have an option there that I can do a, um, what do you call it? Op, a little thing. So I may be doing it there. I'm hoping that shipping options are a little bit different there and the tax options are a little bit different there. So we'll see. It is what it is. Um, but yeah, I will probably finish this one um, tonight. Just working on it. Just puttering every night a few, a little bit. Um, I eat and then kind of come in here and just putter around. But it has been a rough week at work, and it's not just me. There was other people that had, hey, 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 the dog likes to carry off my thread. Don't ask me why. Hitch, there is two things he likes to take, and now there's a third. Um, The first, did you put that back? The first, and he only takes the spools. He doesn't take them. He takes them when they're like this. So he slobbers all over this. And he's done it twice now. And he was just trying to do it again. Um, which just means i got to get that organizer and get them put away. Um, he likes to take my slippers and my Crocs. And all he does, he does not chew anything up. He just carries them around in his, in my mouth, in his mouth. And we tease and say that my shoes have been walking around again, you know, on their own. And, uh, yeah, he just does that. I, I don't know why. But now, with the new box of thread, if I leave it down, he takes a spool of thread and he walks through the house. And you will find it wherever. So I've got to get the organizer to keep the dog out. He doesn't chew it up. He doesn't get all fussy. Now, Worm, 
Worm gets up and he'll chew on it. Hitch just wants to carry things around in his mouth. Don't know. So anyway, I am going to get off of here. I did get these and I am getting organized. I am going to get another one of these. I've got to find one. I am going to get a uh, thread organizer for um, the serger colors. And I'm going to keep working on some bags. Now, just because you see the bags doesn't mean that those are going to be the ones. I'm going to settle on. He's belching now. I'm going to settle on a few. I want to make a couple of zipper pouches, maybe a couple of different sizes. Um, but they're more like wallets. When I say zipper pouches, I mean like coin pouches, wallets, purses, bags. That's going to be my baseline. I want to find some that work for me. Um, I really like the round ones, but I don't know. Um, I'm going to look for different shapes. Um, and... I'm going to see what patterns that work. So as you see me try these, they might not be done in cute materials, but I want to get several different patterns and then just change the materials that I use to make them look a little cuter. Uh, have a little card wallet or two, maybe two different kinds to choose from. Um, and then have maybe just regular zipper type wallets, uh, women's wallets. And I've also thought about checkbook covers. Um, those vinyl checkbook covers, it's getting harder and harder to find checkbook covers for people that still use checks. Yes, there's me. Um, and so I thought I might make just some fabric, make your little vinyl cheap ones look cute. And if you could buy those for a buck or two, hey, right? So anyway, I'm going to get off here. I do have to get ready to go to work. Um, I just got to kind of go and spritz my hair and I have to get my shoes on. I have my Crocs on. And if I take them off right now, it's just going to make off with them. <laughs> so, and it only takes one. So, and it's never the same one twice. All right. But I'm going to get ready to go to work. I will get this uploaded and I will talk to y'all later. Thanks for watching. Bye.